How close are we to the rapture? And are you prepared? Hello, my brothers and sisters. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a blessed day. Hope you're having a great day. And as these signs continue to steamroll, and as we continue to make these videos, and people continue to look for the signs and are watching what's going on in the world, it's hard not to look at these things and look at the signs and look at what we are, where we are headed and where we are during these times. And as I'm watching these things and friends sending me things all day long and uh, there's excitement in them because they are believers. Now, we don't want anyone to, uh, you know, of course, be harmed or um, the way the world is going with the wars and everything that is happening. We do not wish for any harm on anybody, but the Lord's will will be done. And the signs that we are watching are just off the charts, and it's hard to keep up with. But, like I said, we are seeing things uh, steamroll. Uh, I'm watching something that happened in Sicily, Italy. Uh, my home country, my, my nationality, and uh, it was a volcano that erupted. I believe it was Mount Etna, and um, they had to evacuate the town. Now, we've seen volcanoes erupt, it's nothing new, but this is part of the end time signs of what's happening, where all these things are happening at once and at a quicker, quicker rate. That is the point where people just don't have an understanding when they say there's always been these signs, there's always been these things that have happened. And every time they say that, I don't disagree with them. I say, you're right. But it, the rate that they're happening, the speed that they're happening, it's accelerating. And this is what Jesus told us what would happen in the end times. So also reading an article where the president of this country told our military, military to prepare and to have drills for a, a nuclear war with China and Russia. Okay, I, I understand we have to prepare for the worst. We have to prepare for any kind of conflict we might have with other countries. How come these things aren't really reported sometimes? Now, a lot of news is reported. Is it real? We don't even know. A lot of things they say are not real, not true. But if the president did say this, we must prepare. We must do drills. We must have a preparation for a nuclear war with China and Russia. I guess they know something we don't know, but I do know, and believers do know where we're headed. Now, I saw something today where the, where the Houthis attacked a, a, an oil, a Greece, a Greek oil tanker, and it was a spill of 150,000 gallons of oil, which is bigger than the Exxon spill, which is huge. And these factions are, you know, they are funded by Iran, the Houthis, Hamas, Hezbollah. Now, all together, like I said, they become a dangerous faction. Iran has become dangerous because of the money they have, the money they have been given, which was from us, to basically use against us. So, the attack on this oil tanker from the Houthis, I believe, happened today. And it's just another sign. It's just another thing that continues to happen. This is the wars and rumors of wars. These things are spiraling out of control. These things are steamrolling out of control. I also saw a church that was burned down in Germany. And, you know, the Bible says, Jesus says, remember if the world hates you, it hated me first. And we're seeing the turning away from the faith of Jesus Christ. We're seeing the turning to other faiths, other, you know, non-believing. And like I said, other faiths, other followings. People are turning to them more. People are turning their back on the one and only true God, Jesus Christ. So you see the church being burnt down in Germany, and again, just another sign of what Jesus told us would happen. Remember, if the world hates you, it hated me first, Jesus said. You will be persecuted for my name's sake. The world does hate Jesus Christ, the true God. You want to know why? Because he's truth. And who is running the world? The devil. The devil is telling the world to go against truth, to go against the one and only true God, Jesus Christ. The devil doesn't go after other faiths. Other faiths are not mocked. Other faiths are not hated. When you believe in Jesus Christ, that he is God, you are hated. And you'll be hated because of him. 
remember that. There are so many other signs that continue to, like I said, spiral out of control. And as believers, we must look up. We must wait for our redemption. We must have hope in the re return of Jesus Christ. And how do we do that? We go by Scripture. And we know that in Matthew 24, he told us all these things were happening. Are you ready for the rapture? Are you ready to be taken up? When that day comes, I don't know. The Bible says only God knows. I've been making many videos lately about this, about making dates, setting dates. Only God knows the time. But we are definitely close. How close, I don't know. But everything is revving up more and more. And as believers, we have to occupy till he comes. We have to stay strong. We have to stay focused on him. And not so much everything else. It's always about him. It's always being focused on him. Let's look at some other things that have happened in the past few days and weeks. So as we continue to see and look for the signs, there was something I was reading with the an earthquake in Hawaii. Now, earthquakes is something people are going to say always have happened. And like I said, I've always agreed to all these things that have happened. Earthquakes, volcanoes, uh, all kinds of weather disasters. They've always happened. Nobody's disagreeing with you. I'm not disagreeing with you. Not at the rate that they're happening now. Please understand the difference. But Jesus told us that these things would happen more in diverse places, and they are happening more. So there was this 4.7 earthquake in Hawaii. You know, when you have earthquakes and then you have the warning of a tsunami, you have a warning of other earthquakes after. And like I said, these things continue to come to pass. Are you ready for the rapture? Are you ready for the coming of Jesus Christ? You no, know, he will take us out of here. You know, people believe in the rapture. They don't believe in the rapture. I know he's coming back. And I know the Bible says, in the twinkling of an eye, we'll be taken out of here. It could be before the tribulation. It could be during the tribulation. It could be after. I don't know because Jesus never said it would be before the tribulation, or mid tribulation, or after. All I do know is that we are close by the earthquakes, by the hate of Jesus Christ, by the wars and rumors of wars, by the pestilences, by the famines by these natural disasters that continue to increase by the day. So the question is, are you ready? Is the rapture today? Nobody knows the date, like I said before. It could be today. It could be at any minute. It could be at any second. It could be at any hour. It could be five days from now. It could be 150 days from now. It could be six years from now. Nobody knows the time but the Father in Heaven. And this channel never sets dates. But are you prepared for the rapture? Are you prepared for the second coming of Jesus Christ? If not, I pray that you get right. I pray that you find the Lord. I pray that you find Jesus Christ. Because he is the only way to heaven. He is the only way to the Father. These signs show us that he is close. You're seeing the love deteriorate. I've said this in many videos. You're seeing the love absolutely deteriorate. Within people, the hate the hate is growing, the entitlement is growing, the selfishness is growing, and the love of themselves are growing. It's hard to watch, it's hard to see as a believer, but uh, we must endure and we must keep fighting till the Lord does come back and take us home, to our true home. So like I said, the signs are off the chart. We have to occupy till he comes. We can't just solely... Uh, think that it's going to happen today. We have to keep doing the work of the Father. We have to keep put, spreading out the word of Jesus Christ. We have to spread out his love. We have to spread out what he did for us. We have to spread out the gospel. We have to do these things till he comes. But are you ready? Are you ready? It could be today. It could be today. Nobody knows. Thank you all for watching. May God bless you all. May Jesus' grace shine in your heart. And remember, be prepared. It could happen at any minute. God loves you. He wants you to be with Him. Amen. And have a great day.